that I'm a proud Bindra woman. I'd like to pay my respects to my ancestors, past and present, and acknowledge that this land has been a place of learning and wisdom for 60,000 years. Education is really important within Indigenous communities. We can learn a lot from the traditional owners. It's always been something that Indigenous people have done over the years to caretake for the land and to look after the land. Getting people to really understand the importance of that Indigenous knowledge is everything that we do. Bulakadajan, so bula in Noongar means many, it means lots of, and it also can mean big. Katajan means learning, so Bulakadajan means lots of learning. Bulakatajan represents the ethos of the university. It represents our commitment to sustainability, our commitment to equity, diversity and inclusion, and our commitment to our First Nations people. And it shows how we can bring all of those things together in harmony. We spend a lot of time as a university making sure that we gathered together the right team, the right engineers, the right architects. When we first joined the project, we understood Murdoch's vision, the focal point of all that was mass engineered timber. This wasn't just going to be any timber building, this is going to be the largest mass engineered timber building ever built in Western Australia. The biggest engineering challenge that really kept us on our toes was the northern event space. It's a 30 metre clear open space to give you scale, you can fit a 737 Boeing jet in there. We were really at the limits of what we could do from an engineering perspective and we really needed to push through, test some of the assumptions and push the boundaries of engineering. We need to reimagine how we're going to build buildings and infrastructure going forward. We can't continue to do what we've always been doing. Timber is a renewable material. The amount of timber that we needed to build this building has already been regrown. My role at Oricon is to really integrate circular economy thinking across everything we do. The circular economy is a real systems approach to intentionally do three things. The first is design out waste. The second is to keep assets, products and materials cycling as long as possible at their highest value in the economy. And the third is to regenerate nature. The other vision for Murdoch University was to use this project as a vehicle for innovation. And that's essentially where the robotics project came about. In collaboration with Murdoch University, University of Technology in Sydney and Oricon, we were able to develop a fully autonomous world-first robot that would be able to go around the building and install screws on site. It was a fantastic outcome for all of us involved. Buildings have the power to promote discourse in society by providing opportunities for collaboration and for connection and engagement. And if buildings can do that, they have the power to change society for good. The fact that the traditional owners were acknowledged in the design and were consulted through that experience so that there's a sense of identity and ownership in the building it was really fundamental to the way we thought about it. Traditional owners of the land were in fact the original engineers of our world where they used natural renewable products such as timber to build shelters, to build homes. To really look at that, to pay respect to that and to then bring that knowledge to now was just the critical, critical part of this project. The building is very much a building which is looking to the future and is digitally enabled in a way that it provides a space where people's well-being is enhanced. Whenever we are designing spaces, it's just really important that we think about inclusivity in the building and we think about that belonging aspect, that access aspect. Any little thing you can do within a space to make someone feel more included, to be like, I am safe here, I think that's so powerful. Everybody can see themselves represented within that building and I think that's why it feels so special. We wanted to make sure that the whole way through the journey, the Aboriginal people were consulted, Aboriginal people had their stories told.
I think it's also inspiring for our students to be surrounded by that culture as they look forward to creating an Australia which is inclusive, uh, which is forward-looking and which is sustainable. <laughs>